Persecution is heating up in China's Hebei province, where a noted bishop is joining the communist oppressors. Church militants Christine Chrislieb takes us to the epicenter of the current crisis. Su Zhiming is a bishop of Baoding. He's almost 90. He was arrested by Chinese police on October 8, 1997. This is 2020, and no one knows the place of his detention. When Baoding Bishop James Zhu Jamin disappeared in 1997, his auxiliary bishop, Francis Anshu Xin, disappeared with him. Zhu Min's whereabouts are still unknown, but Anshu Xin was released in 2006 and later was elevated to Bishop of Baoding, where he is now threatening to suspend the sacraments for priests and parishioners who don't register with the Chinese Catholic Patriotic Association, a group controlled by the Communist Party. In late spring, China watchers reported 10 priests disappeared from the Baoding diocese and are likely enduring re-education through forced labor. Re-education appears to have been effective on Bishop An Shushin. He's pressuring faithful Catholics in his diocese to join the communist-sponsored Patriotic Association as part of the secret Sino-Vatican Agreement of 2018, orchestrated by Pope Francis and disgraced ex-Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, as well as the Vatican's 2019 Pastoral Guide on the Civil Registry of Clergy in China. The Pastoral Guide, which strongly urges Chinese Catholics to join the Patriotic Association, was posted online without signatories. Actually, it, it, uh, it was a very strange thing. The document came out uh, uh, issued by the Holy See. Now, never any document came out from the Holy See. Always either from the Pope or from a specified Department and with two signatures, right. but this time no department mentioned, no signature. So uh, incredible. While the timing of this increased pressure is a mystery, it's no surprise in that China's communists have been trying for decades to eradicate Christianity. Christine Christlieb, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. In a July interview, Pope Francis said the agreement with China was going well and expressed hope it would be renewed in October.